what's up guys so today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on uh getting fifth edition dungeons and dragons working with uh, pc gen but first i tell a quick story about why i'm even doing this tutorial separate from the pathfinder one um so i hadn't played dungeons and dragons in probably four years uh i've played pathfinder but nothing in like the core uh wizards of the coast stuff and I've never really played 5th edition, maybe two or three sessions, they were kind of one-offs. Um, and so since I've been using PC Gen a lot, I've only ever used it in Pathfinder. And uh, recently a friend of mine, another DM, uh, invited me to come and play in a new game that he's starting. And I think we're doing Waterdeep something. I'm not, I haven't even asked him because if I knew anything about the campaign, I wouldn't want to like meta with that. So I went over to his house, We, me and I think there's four or five other people playing, definitely four, maybe five, and we all had a really good time building characters together, talking about our backstories, making them kind of work together, why we knew each other already. Um, we RP'd a little bit, but it was really just like a character building session. And so I came home, and as I often do, if I build a, a pen and paper character, I wanted to import it into PC Gen for a lot of reasons, but mostly just when I level later, it makes it so much quicker and I can just click all the buttons that I want and update my paper sheet with whatever change and we're done. So uh, I loaded up fifth edition, which I honestly have never done in PC gen and realized that none of the Eberron stuff was in there. So no Warforged and no Artificer, both of which I would need. And I went to sources and realized that that's not in the SRD so those sources aren't available. And I thought like, okay, I know things with Wizards of the Coast are a little bit different than with uh, Paizo, so I uh, jumped onto D&D Beyond, thinking I'll just use their system and leave it on there and keep it all separate and that'll be fine. And realized that I still needed to purchase uh, at least one of the Eberron expansions to run the class, that, uh, class and race that I was gonna do. And I figured like, you know, if it was $10, because I just need the class and the race. I don't need any of the story stuff. I don't need any of the campaign setting. So I would think in D&D Beyond, there would be like an, an inexpensive way to just buy the class features and the, and the races, right? And to buy the Wayfinder's Guide to Eberron was going to be, I think it was like $22. And then if I wanted the recent Eberron expansion, which I also needed, it was going to be... I think 30, maybe a little bit more. Um, and I'm not really going to use this stuff a lot. With my the campaigns that I run with my normal group, we're still going to run Pathfinder. If anything, we're going to go to second edition Pathfinder soon, not to fifth edition. So spending $50 to play, to get the class and race for this one game that I'm playing uh, was crazy. And I mean, with D&D Beyond, I'm not trying to use it as a DM. I'm just trying to use it as a player. And it seems it would be reasonable to me to say you don't get any of the campaign setting content with the towns and the taverns and none of the uh, campaigns that are in those books. But they're like a smaller amount of money that I can pay so that I can use the class and race. And I mean, even if it was $15... I definitely would have just paid it right then and there. But because it's so much more than that, um, I went back to PC Gen and said, you know, someone must have figured this out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And right now I'll give you what I learned and show you how to get it set up. So I'm going to make a, a custom user on Windows so that I have a fresh, clean version of PC Gen. So if you load up, if you download it right now, and download the same files that I did, it should work just the same way since it's, you know, stock. So let's jump into it. Okay, so here we are in PC Gen, and uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of the issue here. Uh, I'm gonna select our sources, fifth edition, SRD, gonna make a new character, and I wanna make a Warforged, and as you can see over here, you know, there's no Warforged, and when we go to our class, these are our class, um, and that's 
not gonna not gonna work for what we need. So we're gonna close PC Gen. No, I don't need to save this. And we're gonna go to our downloaded folder. And you'll see this when you open it up. And what you're gonna do is extract all of these files. So you'll need to click on the PC Gen Master and go down a level. You're gonna need to extract that into, let's see, our current PC Gen uh, folder here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select the folder and let it ex extract real quick. All right, and now open up PC Gen again. And now when we go to our fifth edition advanced tab, we can see that we got some other stuff here. Now one mistake that I made was leaving in the SRD uh, 5.1 file in there. And so what you're gonna wanna do is remove that, go down to Wizards of the Coast, and you're gonna wanna use this guy, I believe it's the core books. Yeah. And add that, and then obviously I'm gonna need my Eberron stuff, so we're gonna add that. Races of Eberron. And I also need the Artificer class. You can add whatever else you want, but obviously I know Oh, and I'm going to need Sword Coast Adventures because it has one of the uh, backgrounds that I need. So, you know, you can add whatever you want, but this took me uh, way too long to figure out. And uh, I don't want other people to have to go through that. So if this was, video was uh, helpful to you and you liked it, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more PC Gen stuff, um, I'm going to be doing it, so go ahead and subscribe to that video and hit the bell. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.